Hi guys, tonight's project is going to be can we repair this air engine racer that I bought in my local charity shop. We've given it a test run and basically it doesn't work and it's quite clear why it doesn't work. There's a good crack in the lid here so it's not airtight. So what we're going to do is see if we can replace that lid. Now I've tried my normal pop bottle tops and they're not the right size. So the next option is if we can't find the right sized lid to fit on there, can we use a different air bottle? So what I might try is this soap dispenser because I've used one of these before for one of my own air jet cars so I'll empty this out take it apart and see if I can use that well in fact the whole thing but see if I can fit the motor onto that lid and then see if we can get it going Just thinking about this, although I'd dearly like to put those bits onto my soap dispenser, I might just try fixing that first with two pack epoxy resin. I think it's asking a lot of the glue, but it might just be worth a try. Just opening it up, opening the crack up a bit to try and get some glue inside the crack. So that cracks practically all the way around. Right, if I just loosen it off again now, I'll just spread the glue. Let's try and spread the load. Right, I'll just hold that still and wait the five or six minutes it takes for it to dry. Right, let's see how hard we can pump this up. Here, air leaking. I'm going to put it under a, in some water to have a look, I think. leaking at the top here. So, need some more glue I think. While we're waiting for the glue to dry on the new car, I'll just go through these three other air jet cars or air pump cars all bought from charity shops in the past. These two I'd actually rated as garbage because I couldn't get them to work. They didn't come with a pump and 
when I tried to use a foot pump and an adapter, I just couldn't get them to run. But I've tried them with this pump that's come with the new car, and they run brilliant. So I'm going to have to review my original review. And then I'll tell you about this one in a minute. So, we'll try and pump this one up first. just right for it to really go. See it clearly goes but I've got to get it to do that on the floor. One, two, three, four, five. When it goes, it goes, but it's a bit fussy. Right, let's try this one. Right, giving that one 20. Oh, that started going before I let it go. So that one works absolutely fine. And the third one doesn't need a pump. This one got a gold rating from me when I first tried it. 75 pence and it comes with its own pump. Okay. Oh, you're in trouble is it? Wheel spins. working air cars. I wonder how the glue's coming on on that last one. Right, I've left this for an hour or so for the glue to dry. So let's see what we can do. I think we can safely say that worked. I might have had it pointing the wrong way to begin with, but uh, that's a success, isn't it? Just very quickly, it did actually run backwards when I did that just now, so I'm just going to see if I can make it run the right way around. And the answer's yes. Summary time. Tonight's project was to repair this air engine racer. When I bought it in the charity shop, there was a split all the way round the bottle top here, which I've just completely covered with two pack epoxy resin. And then I've given it a second coat over the top of that. That's why it looks like it's got a bit of a knobble on it. So that seems to have fixed the split in the bottle top and then when I tried to use it we found that there was a leak 
in this area as well. So hopefully my camera's focused on it. I've covered that in this two pack epoxy resin. And that has fixed it. And it flies. Well, it shoots down the kitchen anyway. Interestingly enough, in the instructions it does actually suggest you try putting wings on it and see if you can get it to fly. So that might be a future project. See if we can make this power an aeroplane.